Hey all, welcome back. Today I'm gonna do an unboxing of the new Shinobi Q5. It's an upgrade of the Q3. I don't own the Q3, so I don't really know what the upgrade does, but we're gonna find out. Let's get to it. The Shinobi Q5 is a Mini or Miko drifting car. I'm more of a monster car, but I think this will be fun for indoor racing. look it's really a hobby grade car with car carbon fiber it uses a brushed motor but you don't really need brushless in such a small car okay let's open the box You can see the car, it's very, very nice. It's really a scaled car. It uses the same method of the hobby grade car with the clips to hold the cover. Also have the remote control. It's a GT2F. I guess it, it's a Flysky remote because I read it can also bind with any Flysky remote, and I'm gonna check that out because I have another Flysky remote. The GT3B. I will test it later on. Also in the box, we got a USB charger and a manual. It's an English one. So it's good. We also have a spare part at the end. Okay, let's look at the car. I really love the design, it's really a scaled uh, car. It's a 1 to 28 scale. It uses the same design of a hobby grade cars. As you can see, it uses the same clips as other hobby grade cars uses. You can tell it's a carbon fiber, most of the parts. It's an upgrade of the Q3 and it uses the same parts, so you, uh, the Q3 has aluminum upgrades that you can use. The battery is 400 milliampere, it's two cells, uh, 7.4 volts. Uh, it has the ESC and the receiver combined. And the detail review, I will open it up. We'll check everything that's about it for now i will do i will show you one more thing just that you can see the scale of it i have a t-max traxxas t-max you can see how small it is can even fit on the back of it later on i will do i will run it I will do a more detailed review and that's about it feel free to subscribe and I will see you next time bye